Well, some of us may use a credit card to pay for gas, but is it really saving us money? As gas prices continue to rise, News 4's Justina Latimer has more on what you need to know. The prices just keep hitting our wallets. It's been tough keeping up. As the owner of a landscaping company, Adam West typically stops by the gas station multiple times a week. You know, I use probably roughly $250 a gas a week, and, uh, and that's jumped up quite a bit. It's a pricey jump we've all seen. I feel good. Yeah, I don't think we missed anything. Daniel Benson is a certified financial planner at Beacon Capital Management. It's been interesting this year. There's some statistics out there. The average debt, credit card debt, in America today is $841 billion, nearing all-time highs. He says on top of that, credit card interest rates are also nearing all-time highs. So for those who prefer to use cards at the pump, delaying your payments could cost you even more. If you're paying that credit card off every month, you don't really see any of those increased uh, interest rates. But if you're not, you've got inflation on food, higher gas prices, and your credit card bills going up all at the same time, which is not a good scenario for, for really anybody. But despite these soaring prices, there are always ways to save. The amount we were allocating to spend on food and and gas and just clothing, all of that's costing more. We need to make sure we've gone into our budget and adjusted those numbers to make sure that there may be other areas in our life that we have to forego. Hopefully they go down. That would be that would be it. Reporting in Franklin, Justina Latimer, News 4, Nashville. We've got